Hello guys, welcome in the third episode. In this episode we will create our puzzles and spawn them in the start positions. Ok, let's get started. Le open our project and remove the directional light as we want needed. Just press delete. Then we will remove the skybox. Uh, to remove the skybox uh, you go to the window, lighting, settings, and then under the skybox material, press this small dot and choose none. Okay, let's close these windows. Uh, let's create our first puzzle. Uh, to represent the puzzle in the game, we'll use the cube. Uh, go to the game object, 3D object, cube, and then name this cube puzzle 1. Or puzzle. Okay, let's switch the view to the 2D. Press the 2D icon in the editor, and our viewport should should appear in the 2D. As we see, we have a one puzzle, which is represented by cube set in the center of the viewport. We will need our 15 puzzles in our game, but we don't want to create them now. We will use the script to spawn them in the right location, right at the start of the game. Right click on the asset folder, choose create folder, name the folder scripts. Okay, go inside the folder, right click, create, and we choose C sharp script, name the script puzzle. Let's create another script, right click, create, C sharp script. And let's name it Game Manager. Enter. OK. Now let's attach the scripts to the objects. Click on the puzzle object. Move the script under the Add component inside the inspector window. As we can see, the script has been attached to the puzzle. Let's attach the Game Manager to our camera. Click on the main camera and do the same thing move this script under the add component button and the game manager should be attached to the to the camera okay let's edit the script now just double click on the game manager script and the visual studio 2017 should be should start okay uh, the visual studio has started as you can see we got our two scripts game manager and the puzzle script we won't do anything with the puzzle script in this episode we will concentrate on the game manager Let's click on it. And inside the game manager, we have a two method. One is start method and one is update. The start method is called right at the start and is called only once. And the update method is called every frame. Okay, let's start from adding few variables. First one will be public. Public type of puzzle. Uh, let's name it puzzle prefab. The second variable, which we will be private, type of list, okay, the first variable uh, will be initialized from the, from the uh, editor. And this will be the puzzle prefab, the, the, the prefab which we actually created in, inside the editor. And the second, the second variable is a list of the puzzles. Anytime we spawn the puzzle, we will, be add, we will add this puzzle to the list. And later on, we will be able to manipulate it by checking the element of the, of the list. Okay, and let's create the function which will be responsible for spawning our puzzles. Um, we will create a loop, which will be looping through the number of times, uh, how many puzzles we want to create. Okay, and every time we loop, uh, we're going to create one instance of our puzzle prefab and uh, put it to the puzzle list. Let's do that. 
I will use the function instantiate to create the instance of this of this puzzle proof app. Then uh, I'll pass the new transform, which is the vector three, and this uh, we're gonna spawn it at position zero zero zero. Okay, and then we need to pass the rotation. I will use the quaternion dot identity. Uh, one more bracket, and then make sure you put as puzzle which will make sure this is the the object of the type puzzle. Okay, uh, we will need another method which will set the puzzle on the on the right starting position. Uh, let's create it. Set start position. Okay, uh, we also need two variables uh, which will be private. Vector two, and uh, the first one will be the start position, where we want to place the, our first puzzle. Uh, I choose uh, the vector two as we need only the x and the y coordinate, um, and the third coordinate, which is z, will be zero zero. And then uh, I will initialize it with the numbers which I had a preset from the actual game. Uh, you can stick with it or you can choose your own number, it's, uh, it's totally up to you. And then the second variable is an offset, which is the gap between the puzzles uh, on, the, on the X and on the Y. Uh, it's going to be... I will initialize it also with the preset value, which worked quite well for me. Uh, okay, let's uh, let's set the position. We're gonna start from the first line, which is the mo topmost line. Um, and in the first line, we have only three puzzles. Puzzle list zero. We will set the transform uh, the position for uh, for this puzzle, which is the transform dot position is equal to new vector 3 and the uh, x will be the start position dot x and the y will be the start position dot y and the z will be zero zero okay this is our first puzzle let's go to the second one make sure you set this uh, this index to one and then uh, we will move this puzzle to the right on the x-axis which will be plus offset dot x okay and then third puzzle will be puzzle index 2 and we will move the this puzzle to the right by two offsets okay okay Second line, uh, we'll, uh, the first puzzle in the second line, which will be puzzle index three. Uh, we want to stay on the same X position, but we want to move this puzzle down. Uh, we're going to minus the offset dot Y. Okay. And we're going to do the same for every single puzzle in this line. And then uh, the second puzzle will be puzzle with index four and then five. And we need one more puzzle in this line, which will be six. Uh, and then this puzzle will have to be moved by three times offset on the X position. Okay, this is our second line. Let's do the third line. The third line will have the index uh, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Okay, it's going to be the same uh, as the second line, but we need to move it down. Uh, let's, uh, we have to move it by 2 
offset y down. Okay, let's change it. Okay, this is going to be our third line, and then fourth line, which is the last line, will be similar. Fourth line, and then it's going to be index 11, 12, 13, and 14. And this need have to be moved by three times offsets. Okay, we have all of our puzzle sets on the start position. Okay, let's call the spawn puzzle first. And we want to spawn the 14 puzzles. And then after we spawn the puzzle, we have to set the puzzle position. Let's call this function here. There is one more thing uh, I forgot. Make sure this, uh, this functions are private which will be unaccessible from outside of this class. Private. Okay. Uh, let's save it and uh, go back to the Unity. Okay, we are back in the Unity. Uh, let's click on the main camera. Uh, we will adjust the settings. Uh, let's change the projection type to orthographic and then set the size to 3.4. Then in our game manager script, we have to pass the puzzle prefab. First of all, let's create a folder, which will hold all of our prefabs. Prefabs, open the folder and then click on the puzzle, hold it and move it to that folder. And as you can see, the prefab has been created. Okay, and then you see the puzzle become blue. That means it's a prefab. We can remove it now, just select it and delete it. The, we don't have any puzzle in our scene now, but we have a prefab. Let's back uh, to our main camera. Click on this puzzle prefab and move it onto the script. And the puzzle prefab has been uh, assigned. Let's create on this prefab and uh, change, change the settings. Let's set this position to minus 3.55. Uh, the y position is 1.77 and the z position is 0. Let's set the scale to 2 on x, 1.5 on y and 1 on z. Okay, let's press play and see what's happened. Okay, as you can see we have our we have our puzzles, but the position is not um, we won't see them all yet. Let's manipulate this camera a little bit. We want to find the right position for our puzzle. As you can see, when I press on the X and move it, I just move the camera left or right. 1.4 on the X and on the Y will be 0. Point. Let's try 4. Yeah, looks alright for me. Go back and as you can see, we don't have this value anymore. We have to put it. Uh, the first one was 1.4. And the second one was uh, minus 0 0.4. This is going to be our value. We have uh, all of the puzzles set. In the next episode, we'll implement the movement of the puzzles. When you will click on the puzzle, the puzzle will go to the first empty position and we'll apply the background graphic. Thank you for watching and see you in the next episode.